Oh, good evening everyone. My name is Joe, V1BWV, with an update uh, of the TFT controller. It's coming into the ham shack. Uh, Alexa, turn ham desk on. Okay. Move up to as we get towards the, the shack here. Just a little quick scan. Just where I'm working at right now. Oh, I think I'm seeing a... Oh, sorry about that. Just getting a reflection off something here. I'm not sure why. Yeah, looks okay when it's close up. I guess it's just the brightness of everything. Anyway, uh, right now we're just uh, looking at the uh, digital mode software WSJT-X. It's in the FT8 mode. I don't have it on frequency at the moment. And then uh, we have the PSK monitor at the various stations that, uh, that I'm, I'm hearing and, uh, and seeing here on uh, 40 meters. So let's uh, get down here a little bit. Don't get too dizzy. Uh, we'll start off with the... Uh, turn this thing down a bit. So here's the uh, touch control system. Pretty well every button that you see is available um, via optional uh, physical buttons. So you can have it all touch control if that's your wish, or you can add you know, various buttons like your volume, your RF, uh, and you can see on the other bit right here I got all kinds of buttons there. Uh, the beauty of it is you don't have to add any if, the, if you don't want to, except for the volume. And um, let me get the little pencil out here. Makes it easier to, to do it. So basically, again, all touch control. Uh, we have three VFOs. VFO A, B, and M. M represents the memory channels here. And we have uh, 100 memory channels. And you can just cycle through everything on the left or on the right uh, as you go through each one here. So I'll just leave it on the, the B at the moment. And down below here, it shows you... Um, what is uh, in the other VFOs. So that's your main dial. And you can just touch the left or the right and it'll go up and down there. We have the band select. That's all the code for it. So all the digital pins are assigned that uh, will turn on a relay uh, for your band select switch if you wish. So you can see it. It'll cycle through 80 and you can program whatever you wish in there of course, but these are just some of the default ones. I'll put it back to 40. Uh, down here we uh, basically allow you to take what's in the VFO and shove it into uh, into the memory channel. Anything you see on the memory channel you can shove back from here. You could shove it to here. Just like I just did now. Um, left side is your step down, step up. Little, there we go. Upper lower side bend down here, your BFO, and these are future buttons right here. If one, two, three, and four, depending on what we can think of or what some of the users might um, want or suggest uh, that we could put in there. And what else here? Now we also have the uh, transmit, which uh, when that occurs, it locks down the, uh, the dial so you can't move it around here a bit. Yeah, just like I'm moving around right now. Uh, yeah, I'll get that light out here a bit. So. Yeah, sorry about the moving around here, but I don't have a stand at the moment. So it's version 2.3. We just are releasing it now. If you're interested in a copy, um, you can just send me an email at joman2116 at gmail.com. This software was created by uh, and dreamed up, basically, uh, by the hard work of um, a gentleman in India. His call is Victor Uniform 2 Sierra Papa Foxtrot. VU2SPF. So him uh, and myself uh, have been working on, uh, you know, perfecting the, the, the package basically. And um, my call is Victor Echo 1 Bravo Whiskey Victor, and I'm Joe, and I'm located here in New Brunswick in Canada and on the East Coast here. Um, so let's just spin around and see what we can do here. Uh, let me look, let's see if I can do this with one hand. And I'll pick, uh, see the memory channel right here. So you can hear FT8. So 
So let me just look up here and see what's see what we capture here. Turn that down. Oh, wrong one here. There we go. It's a little too loud. And I uh, better put it on the right side then. And now we should see it come through here. There's a the decode, only a couple of stations right now. Biggest thing is make sure that's not in the red over here on the left hand side, which is your signal strength, otherwise it gets distorted. But this thing really decodes well. Okay, there's another decode all. Anyway, uh, mostly in the USA, there's the Japan one and Venezuela. So I'll try one more, that watch one more decode. And we have South Shetland, USA, Uruguay, Colombia. So all kinds of activity there. So it decodes really very, very well. Nothing, nothing to that. So let's just get away from the FT8 digital mode. And back down here, I'll move up close. And I'll just try to, okay. I'll use the rotary encoder button on the side because it's easier so I don't get in the way here. And I will change the step to like 1K and I'll put this on lower sideband and get away from it there, okay. See if there's anybody around there this evening. It's quite late, it's running about 12, 15 in the morning. Oh, it's extremely quiet. stations there. You can see it moves very smoothly. Oh, awful quiet. Somebody to say something there. Must have caught that as the very end of the conversation. So, uh, 200. Sweep one more time here. See if we catch anybody or not. Okay, I got it. Sorry about that. I'm just going to a slower step here. In case I catch someone on the way down. No. Nope. Okay. We'll head back down. It's like the digital modes are the ones that are active right now. When the band's open, it's just, I guess, uh, not many people around. shortwave station in there. Well, sneaking down here. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, it's hard to believe there's not some out there in the night watch. Of course, someone's going to pop in there and scare the daylights out of me. They'll probably be so loud. down by the digital mode here, I guess, if there's no one else. Daylight's out of me, that one. I've got to put the AGC. Turn the RF gain down there. Come audio on it. That's crazy up there. Hey, let me hang on a sec. Is there a DX station on frequency? November 2 Pacific London. Okay, so, so I'll turn this down here. Anyway, I think you get the idea. So there you have it. It's the universal touch controller. Uh, again, uh, just presenting out version 2.3. It's got uh, pretty well most things done. Everything's been checked out quite a few times, but uh, like anything else, it takes uh, lots of people to uh, run through it and uh, see if they detect something or an anomaly or whatever. So you have a great evening. It's uh, VE1BWV on this end, Joe. So 73 is from myself and um, from VU2SPF. Enjoy. <laughs>